Hello, 10th graders. How's everybody doing today? Good. Pretty good? Awesome. Great. So we have a really cool assignment today where we're going to get to work in groups. And I know how much you guys love that, right? We all work really well in groups. So I wanted to utilize that today. But before we get into our groups, let's go over our learning goals for the day so that we know what we need to be successful. Um, so I'll read them aloud to you guys, and then we can go over them as a group. I will be able to analyze the text for evidence, discuss my article in a group, and summarize my findings. Who would like to, or let's all say that as a group together. I will be able to analyze the text for evidence, discuss my article in a group, and summarize my findings. Awesome job, you guys. So. Let's quickly go over some of the skills that we learned in our last lesson. Who remembers what we did in our last lesson? Yes, Ashley. Uh, we found evidence in the text. Okay, awesome. So we looked for evidence, and we did that in informational texts. Awesome. And then you guys took that evidence and you wrote some tentative claim statements for your exit slips, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Awesome. We're going to be revisiting those again today, so look forward to that. Okay, so what we're doing today is called a jigsaw. So look around at your group mates. This is your jigsaw group. Each of you will be <laughs> learning um, and reading a separate article from the other people in this group. So I'm going to assign you each a number, and the number of that text in the text set is the article that you're reading. Does everyone understand? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay, Marco, remember one, two, three, four, and Ashley, you are number five. So which text set will you be reading? Mm -hmm. And which text will you be reading? Number five. Awesome job, you guys. Go ahead, read those to yourself, and be annotating in the margins important evidence and important key points that you want to share with your group. And remember that you guys can write any questions that you might have about this article in your annotations as well. Great job, Jenny. Looking really good. That's a very good question, Ashley. I'm excited to find out the answer. Now that I see that everyone's put their pens down and that they're done annotating their texts, let's all meet with our expert groups. So if you had text number one, raise your hands. Awesome job. How about everyone who read text number one meets at that table in the far corner? Why don't you go over there, Marco? Thank you. All right. Raise your hands if you read text number two. You're all going to meet over there. Text number three, you're going to meet over there. Text number four, how about you meet in this corner? And text set number five? Awesome, Ashley. Okay, you and your group mates will meet over there. All right, and in our expert groups, we are discussing everything that we found and annotated in our articles. Find the main points with each other and fill in any gaps if anyone missed anything in the article. Awesome, I'll let you guys discuss. Sounds like our expert group conversations are coming to a close. Great job, everyone. How about we all meet back in our jigsaw groups? Those are our regular table groups. Great. So you have all read and now discussed separate articles from each other, and I'm sure you all have a lot to say about it. So we're going to be using your jigsaw note catchers to complete um, all the notes that everyone is going to be telling you about the different articles from your group. So when Marco's talking, Ashley's going to be taking a lot of notes on what he has to say. And when Ashley's talking, Marco's going to be taking a lot of notes on what she has to say. And if there's any gaps at the end, you could all help to fill them out for each other, right? Okay, awesome. So we'll start with text number one. You guys can start summarizing your findings together.
going everyone are we all finished filling out our note catchers mm -hmm. yeah just about awesome job okay so how did it go today you guys how was it working in your groups and um meeting as an expert group and then as a jigsaw group did we like that yeah, yeah. does anyone have any thoughts to offer or any questions to ask i like that we could uh, participate with our groups and discuss the evidence and then come back and we were really an expert awesome thank you for sharing ashley it always helps our confidence when we feel like an expert on something, doesn't it? It feels kind of good to teach about it. It's what I get to do every day, right? So, yesterday we turned in our exit slips with our tentative claim statements on it about this issue, right? So, now that we all are much more informed about this issue and have considered multiple perspectives, I'm gonna be handing you back your claim statement from yesterday and you guys are gonna revise them. Feel free to add any supporting evidence that you found today to your claim statement and feel free to change your opinion if you want. Maybe today has really riveted you and where you stand on this topic. So I'll give you guys a few minutes to do that individually and discuss as a group. Wow, if Ashley's changing her claim statement, she must have really heard some good information from Marco. Awesome job, you guys. You guys are both experts. All right, guys, when you're done with these, these new uh, thesis statements or claim statements will be your exit slips for the day. And if you have any questions, feel free to come see me after class.